Hi, I'm Vincent Scully from Cart Integrator, and in this video, we're going to look at the first of our sections called Catalog. So let's take a look at the first one here called Categories. So Categories are the actual pages within your store. So when we go into Categories, we can see all the various pages that are in our store, and we've got parent pages, and then we've got children or subcategories. So parent category, subcategory, or parent and child. So let's take a look at the first one. Let's take a look at cameras and see what we find. We can see that the English language is defined here. Your cart integrator store can run in multiple languages. So you can add French, Spanish, German, whatever language you want. And if you are going to present your information in those languages, you can provide the French, German, Spanish equivalent of camera. Um, and that would appear uh, to those Spanish customers. Now, there is some customization required to um, display in those languages, but just know that the feature is there. Our description option allows us to add a description into that category. We have various different styles for headers, etc. We can make font bold, underline it. We can remove font styles. We can look at fonts, font sizes. We can uh, set colors. We can look at bullets, numbering, we can look at the actual justification, we can add table, we can add links, images, video, and we can look to toggle into a full screen mode, or we can look to edit the HTML code. So there's quite a bit of versatility available within this screen. Next is our meta tag title. Every screen requires, or every category requires a meta tag title. Ideally, from an SEO perspective, we want to fill in this meta tag description and meta tag keywords. When we move to the data screen, we see now we have no parent in here. This is a parent category in itself, so therefore it won't have a parent. Uh, filters, we can add those in. I'm going to do a separate video on filters, um, but we can add filters at a category level. Stores allows us to define which, pay, which store this page will appear in. So we can have multiple stores and define whether or not this page appears within those stores or where the, whether or not this category appears in those stores. We can define a category image and a very important component to note is this top section. When we select to top, it displays in the top menu bar and it only works for the top parent categories as this little help menu says. So what does that mean? It means if we want to set a category to appear in the menu, we must select this but we don't need to do that for the children categories. I'll show you that in a moment. We can define the number of columns to be used for the bottom three categories, and this only works in the top parent categories. Our sort order will determine where on the previous screen, what sort number this will appear. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc., and our status enabled or disabled. SEO, basically what this means is that each page within our store should have an SEO title. And if we had multiple stores, you would see that these multiple stores would appear down here and you can give an SEO title for those category pages and they must be unique across the store. Design allows you to override the default design and I'm going to cover that in a separate video, so don't worry about it. But we have various layouts and within those layouts, we can add modules. And when you have those modules, it will determine how that page is displayed. So this allows you to override that. Let's go back to categories and take a quick look at a child category. So let's take a look at components and mice and trackballs. When we go in here, we've got that same data. However, on this page, we now see that the parent category is populated. So if I just remove that, it will say no parent. And this would effectively become a parent in itself and would appear on the menu if I selected the top menu item. But now we know that this was in components. So we just type in a couple of letters. We'll see the various categories that are available and we can select this. And this now becomes a child category of the category component. So that's our catalog and our categories. And in our next video, I'm going to look at products. Thank you very much.